Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel and uh, it's almost Christmas it's almost en end of the year and what a year it's been it's gone very very quickly I'm hoping that you've all had a decent year and uh, let's hope that we do have a much much better new year considering what we're currently having to go through with this uh, new variant etc um, so what I'm going to be doing um, I also like to thank everybody uh, who have been subscribing watching my channel liking my videos and please continue to do so it just helps keeps uh, the uh, channel in the limelight and also means that more and more people can see and benefit from the content on the channel um, as I've said before Please hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the bell button, and uh, so you're aware of all the new videos that are going to be coming online and uh, going forward. Um, hopefully, I'll be bringing uh, more and more content. If you want me to look at anything, please feel free to send me a message. Um, emails in the description, and or just leave a comment and I can uh, um, expand on things that you might have seen. Um, this video, it was supposed to be something that I was supposed to do a while back, you know, when I first showcased um, the, the heat vision doorbell system. Uh, but due to time constraints, I haven't been able to do it. And then uh, I've just been given a reminder by another client who wants to know how it's done. So I thought, you know what, I've got some time let's uh, let's do this now so uh, what I'm gonna do is some of the stuff we've covered in a previous video regarding adding implants to a recorder you know your NVR so uh, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna do the whole process from scratch so you can see it in action yourself okay the physical hardware just refer back to that old video um, but it's straightforward to do so without further ado I'm going to show you, uh, first of all, what I have installed, how it, what, what it does, and then we're going to come back and we're going to see the, um, the whole process of how it's done. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit on the other camera. Okay, so here we have the doorbell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this button. It's starting to ring. You heard the ding dong doorbell there. And what else I'm going to be doing? My phone is also ringing. But I'm gonna answer it from here. So if I press that, I can now speak to them. But then importantly, now if I just press this, you heard that lock open. And then I can just open this door just like that. So that is how, what we can do with this um, door lock. Okay, so that was a demonstration. And then now we're gonna go to the nitty gritty of how to actually go about doing it. So um, what we're gonna do is uh, get back to the desktop and show you guys how it's all done. Okay, see you in a bit. Right, now that you've seen um, how that works, now what I'm going to be doing is we have a total of three, two smart implants, okay? One smart implant gets attached to the doorbell and in the back of the doorbell you have two connections you have a wire connection for the relay contacts and then you also have a network port. The network port is your standard PoE um, network cable which you just connect and that then means that the doorbell gets powered, gets an IP address and we can then configure it using the screen um, and it then goes online and it connects to your HIT Connect app. So that's all standard. The terminal contacts are um, common and then we're going to be using the normally open terminal so normally open one and normally open two you only need one set to be honest not 
two. It just depends on how many you want to connect. So I've only connected one set. So I've just got two wires connected to normally open one common. That then goes back to a smart implant, which is connected to the uh, yellow and blue wires. And then I've got the power supply, which is on the red and blue wires. So let me bring you over to the devices, um, settings, devices, and I think I've called it uh, doorbell. Uh, that's this, right. This is the doorbell from the AOTech um, Siren 6, which I've used to, uh, to create my sound effects. So if I click on show hidden, um here it is nvr doorbell no that's the record that's from the nvr itself oh you know what i can't remember what i called it so the best way is if i go into my scenes and i will go through my scene so doorbell so this is one of the scenes that i'm using so that's the doorbell scene and I'm not using that, I'm using the, I need this to trigger the lock. So if I go down and uh, intercom porch, there it is. And I'm using uh, device ID 661. Okay, 661. So all I'm gonna do is click on devices, show hidden. And if I can type 661, no, it doesn't do it that way. So I'll have to scroll. So here it is, device ID 661. See, it's been a while. Intercom signal. <laughs> so this is the device ID intercom signal on 661. So this is a smart implant, as you can see from here. And um, whenever the whenever I press the key icon on the intercom, like you just saw on the video, this becomes breached. When this becomes breached, it then sends a signal and it then runs the scene that I've set. So the scene that you saw here, um, intercom porch, where is it? Oh, I know, I'm sorry. I'm totally disorganized here. Wrong one. Um, There it is, intercom porch. So I am um, 661 is my trigger. And I all I did was say, right, unlock the porch door, send um uh um what do you call it? A notification to my phones and then just take some pictures uh from the cameras and send it to me on my email. So at least we can have a, a log of uh, who's getting into the porch. Okay. So that is using the smart implant that's directly connected to the Hikvision itself, wired into um, uh, then into a scene which then does all this. Now, you did hear two tones when you um, when I pressed the doorbell. Afterwards, you heard a two kind of tones, and one of them was the doorbell, so which is this scene here, the doorbell scene. So that, again, it uses a trigger from the recorder this time. So I have another smart implant on the recorder. So if I go back onto devices and type in NVR. So I've got two, two devices. So I've got motion alarm and doorbell switch. What this is, in the alarm contacts on the back of the recorder, we have... Um, depending on what recorder you have will depend on how many terminals you have. So the version I have is a 16 channel recorder. So that comes up with four alarm outputs. So what I've done, um, you have the numbers one and then G, two and then G, three and G and four and G. Now depend again, like I said, if you've only got one output, then you'll only have one and G. So because I've got four, I have wired the yellow wire into number one and for G is the blue wire. 
in number two I've wired the green wire and then and in the next one I, in the G is back to the blue again so what that means is if alarm output one is triggered it will activate the motion alarm if alarm output two is triggered it will activate the doorbell switch these are what I've named them as because that's what I'm actually using the um, inputs for so how can we how do we um, make sure that the recorder does what it needs to do well I'll show you the scenes first so the scenes um, and if I go on to well you've already seen the doorbell scene so all that means is when alarm output for doorbell is triggered it will just basically um, turn doorbell switch on therefore ding dong and that's it that's all it does all right so that means somebody presses the doorbell and it then triggers through the recorder the implant and that implant then triggers a home center and I get a ding dong sound all right now the other thing that uh, we used to have a ring doorbell beforehand and with ring as you know you have motion alerts so Mrs. kind of missed having when when the postman came and having a bit of motion uh, alerts so what I did was I created a motion alert scene so if I find where I've put it here it is so what that does is that uses the other input see so 714 so you saw the previous one was 715 this one's 714 and you know my devices were also 714 and 715 and all this does is when this sensor is triggered on the on the recorder it then triggers the implant which then triggers the home center and all I do is I use another tone from the AOTech Siren 6 to turn the um, uh, the alert sound that I've chosen on wait two seconds and then turn it off so that's why we saw two alerts when um, well, sorry you heard two alerts when I rang the doorbell because I have I was standing in that area for more than about three seconds which triggered that so that's how I got two alerts so how do we set this up in the home uh, in the recorder so you know how to wire it up we've got the scenes um, again these scenes are just standard scenes and you can just um, uh, make it do anything you like so all I've done is I'm going to log in once you're logged in you then got to go on to two things now um, you've got to first make sure that you've added your doorbell the Hikvision doorbell into your recorder uh, I've already done that so it's uh, in my camera management it's the um, the last camera and then all I do is click on IOT settings and it, that will then bring up the camera it brings it up as two devices because it's got two channels and all I did was you click on the configuration you then go on to the event types and we're going to be choosing uh, device intercom and enabled all the time linkage method We've got the Notify Surveillance Center and OSD Display and the Trigger Alarm Input. Oh, I've connected to Alarm 3, pardon me, uh, I forgot what I did, but it's actually connected to Alarm 3. So what happens is when I press the doorbell, it NVR picks it up, the fact that I've actually pressed the intercom device, and then this then sends it across to A and uh, A3 as well as the surveillance centers and the on-screen displays etc okay that's all you need to do on the uh, recorder side for doorbell now if you do want what I've done in terms of motion detection well if you think back to my previous video again about how to create a zone so I'll go through it again so we've got an event smart event now the problem is the video doorbell doesn't allow any of these events because those cameras can't support that function. So lucky for me I actually had another camera there and call the front door cam. So and what I've done is I've done an intrusion detection zone. So as you can see from the picture it's there and there it is. 
So when somebody stands in that area for more than three seconds, full sensitivity, then it will send an alert. So the schedule, all the time, linkage, A2. So now I, I must have connected my implants to A2 and A3 rather than A1 and A2. But anyway, so just remember where you've connected them. So what that does is as long as somebody stood in this area for more than three seconds, that's when the alert will come through and therefore the A2 then gets triggered which then triggers the home center. So I hope you've got that and I hope you've understood it. Any questions feel free to drop me a message and, uh, and I'll uh, answer them as best as I can. And again don't forget to hit the, if you've enjoyed watching this video um, found it useful definitely hit the like button if for any reason you want to hit the dislike that's up to you uh, but please let me know why uh, don't forget to subscribe and um, if you found all these useful and you wish to make a donation then there's a, also a PayPal link in the description so uh, once again thank you very much for watching um, if I don't see you in another video have a happy Christmas and uh, uh, happy Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and uh, we'll see you all soon. Uh, I thank you all for watching and uh, goodbye for now.